Hello guys, welcome back to SES LTD deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SES software. I am back with another review and today I am going to review user. So user is an automation tool. With user, you can automate your repetitive task and for that you can create various steps for your automation. And on those steps, you can add various actions, you can select classifiers and there are so many other options in order to customize your automation. So user is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is over $200 but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $49. This is a one-time single payment. Now let's have a look at all the plans and features. So you can create unlimited projects, you can add unlimited users, unlimited execution. You can automate both on Mac as well as Windows. There is compatibility with web apps, legacy apps as well as games. You can schedule wizard for unattended execution setup. There is also code editor mode and so many other features. And these are some of the tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier 1 costs $49. So here you can create 20 scenarios or automations or workflows and you can add only one agent. There is also tier 2 that lets you create 200 automations or scenarios and you can also create 3 agents. And the last tier is the highest one that costs $299 with 500 scenarios and 10 agents. So if you want to buy user on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Before I go to the dashboard and show you how the automation works, first let me take you to the roadmap of this tool. So here's the roadmap. You can see all the backlog features, the planned feature and also all the in-progress features as well as all the completed ones. So now let's go to the dashboard of user. So after you log into user, you are going to get this dashboard and currently we are in this project section. So from here we can create our automations. There are also some other sections on this dashboard. So we have this monitor. So here you can see some analytics. You can see the current running scenarios which means the automations, the running jobs, total scenario runs, total job runs and all of these details. You can also see how many online agents you have and how many of them are connected. Then you can also manage your add-ons from here. You can create your own if you want. And then we have this report section. So here you can see detailed reports about your automations. So you can see all these steps. You can see who is the person that executed this automation. You can see the start time, end time, the success rate, fail rate, cancelled rate. So all of these details. You can also export them if you want. And then we have these agents where you can see if your agent is connected or not. So let me show you how to create an automation. For that I will go to these projects. So on this root and then on this my first folder I want to create a scenario or automation. You can also import existing automation if you want. So you have to upload your file, name it and then provide description. Then you can create your automation. And in order to create a new one just click on this. Now let's provide a name. So for example I want to create an automation for AppSumo website. So let's save it. Ok now we have to open it. And now we are in the automation editor. So there are multiple ways in order to add the automation. So first is this basic mode. So you can create various steps on here. You can also use this code editor mode in order to create your automation. So if you have some basic knowledge about coding, you can super easily use this. So before I start adding these steps, first I want to show you what kind of automation I want to create. So for that I will go to the AppSumo website. So what I want from the automation is that first I want it to open Chrome, Chrome browser and then I want it to visit AppSumo website and then I want it to click on this course and more and after that the automation is going to click on this creative resources and then it is going to click on login and then on this page I want the automation to provide a specific email on this box and then I also want it to provide a specific password that I select and then I want the automation to click on this login button. So that is all. I want to create an automation for this whole process. So let's go back to the dashboard. So as I said you can create in multiple ways. The first one is this basic mode. So I can create steps. I can choose an action. So here are all the actions. I can choose the location, the classifier, text, index, all of these settings. And on the code editor mode, just like how you do coding, you have to provide all the elements. So first I want the automation to click. So very similar to the way how you code, you have to create your automation. But I'm not going to use that. Let me show you how this basic mode works. 
so let's create our first tip so the first tip is going to be open browser so let's find that automation or action so here is our open browser and the browser is going to be chrome and then i have to provide the url on this box and then i simply have to click on this save okay so the first step has been created as you can see so on the first step the automation is going to open the chrome browser and go to appsumo.com so after coming to this website what i want the automation to do is click on this courses and more so let's copy this text now let's create our second step so the second step is going to be click click on a particular text so click on what exactly you have to select that classifier from here so it is going to be text and the text that i already copied let's paste it on here so here is our courses and more and then i can just save it and after going to these courses and more i want the automation to click on these creative resources so let's copy this text so now let's add a new step this is also going to be click the action is going to be click and the classifier is once again text and let's provide the text on here so it is going to click on this creative resources so let's save it so after coming to this creative resources i want the automation to click on this login the login button that you can see on the right top side of this website so the previous actions were text so these courses and the creative resources these were text but this login is a button as you can see so instead of text we will select button let me show you how so let's create a new step and it is also going to be an action of click but the classifier is not going to be text instead it is going to be button and i have to provide the button text on here which is login and then just click on save so after clicking on login i want the automation to provide the email on this box and the password on here and then i want it to click on this login button so for that let me show you what i'm going to do so let's create a new step and now the action is going to be click and write so click on a particular box and then provide some text on that box and for the classifier i have to select the input level and the input level is going to be email for email so let's write email and on this email box which is this box which means i have to provide exactly the email that i want on that box on this input so let's provide a fake email so suppose this is going to be the email now just click on save okay so this step has also been added now we also have to add another step in order to provide the password so click on create step once again i'm going to choose this click and write and the classifier is going to be also input level the text is password and i have to provide the password on here so once again let's add a fake password and then click on save so after adding this email and the password i want the automation to click on this exact login button so for that i will create another step and then the action is going to be click and the classifier is going to be button since this login is a button as you can see and the button text is going to be log in now just save it okay so as you can see all of these steps are created for exactly the automation that i want so first i want the browser to visit appsumo.com then click on courses then click on creative resources then click on a button that is called login and on the login page provide this email and the password and then i want the automation to click on login so these are all the steps and something i forgot to show you is that you can also create all these steps using ai so all you have to do is just provide or explain your automation in plain english and then you're going to get all these steps that are made by the ai so for that you have to click on here and then you have to describe what type of steps you want on this ai assistant and then just click on generate and from here you are going to get all these steps that you need which means you do not have to use this basic mode or this code editor mode and on this ai assistant there are already some templates that you can use so you can use this sign in to netflix you can use this automation there is create an imdb account and there are so many other templates or automations that are already provided you can also use them if you want so after creating all these steps for the automation the next thing that we have to do is install the agent of user so for that go to this agents and then you have to click on download agent and based on your operating system it could be mac or windows you have to download their agent and once you download it you have to install it on your computer so let me show you how the agent is going to look like so i already installed this agent this is going to look something like this that is going to be installed on your computer so now if i open this so as you can see this is how the agent is going to appear
So once you open the agent or the application, then on user dashboard, there's going to be an option to register your agent exactly on here. So I already registered it, but you have to click on that register button and then it is going to be registered. And once it is registered, you have to connect it from the taskbar. So on the taskbar, it is going to look something like this. So if you right click on the agent, you can now connect it. And once you have successfully connected the agent, on this agent section, you can see the connection status. So for me, it is now disconnected. But when I connect it from the taskbar, it is going to show connected. So after connecting, you can run the automations. So once the agent is connected, you have to go back to your automation. And then on top, you have to click on this run all steps. So as soon as you click on this button, the automation is going to run, which means it is going to follow all these steps. So for this automation, it is first going to open a new tab and then go to appsumo.com. Click on courses and more. Click on creative resources. Then it is going to click on login. Then it will provide the email as well as password and then click on login. So just like this, the automations are going to work. And obviously for creating automation, you have this basic mode, also this code editor. So as you can see on the code editor, this basic automation, this is going to look something like something like this. And you can also write your code for automation on Notepad++ and then copy it from there to here. And if I go back to the basic mode, so let me once again show you all the actions. So you have all these actions and then there is classifier. You can add text index and based on the action you select, you are going to get different types of boxes. So for the click and write, we have classifier text index as well as the input. For delay, we have to provide the delay on here. We can select this hover or hover and click, open browser or close browser, run command. So there are a lot of actions that you can select from here. And other than these steps, there is also these parameters. So all the parameters are going to appear on here. You can create a new parameter. Just provide the name, description and the type of parameter that you want. And there are also some other options that you can change from here. And once you run your automation, you're going to get the status of each of these steps on here on this last execution. So you can see if all of these steps are executing successfully, you can see their statuses on here. So overall, I think user is an excellent tool that lets you automate a lot of tasks. All you have to do is just create the appropriate steps and then you have to connect the agent and then you can run all these steps on your browser. So you can leave a lot of different repetitive tasks to user and you can just take a nap or take some rest. And on the background on Chrome browser, user is automatically going to operate in order to complete all of your tasks. So if you want to buy user on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool, you are going to get all these features and these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits Gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.